me and Mani here back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial using drugstore products um, I'm gonna warn you right now the only drugstore products that I did not use and it was because I couldn't find dupes for it or because I just really like these products is my fix plus my um, MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I also just added my um, gold deposit on top of another highlighter that I use from the drugstore however literally every single thing that I use for this um, tutorial will be drugstore I did a highlight and contour tutorial before however a lot of you guys had complaints and I um, decided to just switch it up a little bit um, that one was very in-depth and um, very detailed and it was still a good tutorial however I did switch switch and tweak some things just to fix them also I will be using the new Vanity Planet 15 brush it. I am in love with this brush set. It's cruelty free. They're super soft. The brushes don't shed. They really blend products on my face and I'm just really, really, really in love with these products. They okay, so these brushes typically run for $100, but please, 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 please don't be alarmed. With my coupon code, you can get these um, brushes just for 70% off with the coupon code NIA15. So I'm really in love with these products. I think these are a great starter kit if you are a beginner in makeup. Um, brushes can typically run for a lot and like using just like BH Cosmetic brushes or more Morphe brushes or even Real Techniques brushes can add up. When you get these brushes, you get all of them in a set. So if you are able to, I definitely say get them. But if you can't, you know, you can get them later. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, also thank you guys so much for 53K. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like, if you please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me any criticism or anything else. And I'll see you all in the next video. Let's begin with the tutorial. She savage you be with them apes. Play with this shit, you get eight. Bitch, I be covered in baby. Bitch, I be covered in baby. You know I keep me a cake. You know I keep me a drink. Go, wrap a nigga like an egg. Bro, big booty, sleep a big Okay, so first and foremost, you want to prime your face. Priming your face is going to ensure that your makeup has something to stick to. If you have oily skin, it's going to kind of control that oil. And please don't apply as much um, primer as I'm priming. However, today I am going in with the um, Black Radiance True Complexion Primer. I've noticed that it's a, it's also a shine control primer. So this primer, I've noticed since been, I've been using it, and I've been using it for a while, I don't tend to get really 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 oily now i'm going in with one of my favorite foundations it's the um maybelline fit me foundation in the um normal the i'm sorry the matte and poreless is for normal to oily skin and i'm in the shade 360. i like to put apply foundation on the back of my palm just to warm up the product and then go in with my brush and i like to apply it all over my face i'm using the vanity planet kabuki brush flat top kabuki, kabuki brush to apply my foundation please be sure that you apply your foundation um in your you push it into your hairline as well as on your neck to ensure that you don't have a mask like look then i'm going to buff it out with my real technique sponge and i love this sponge and i'm making sure make sure that when you do this you are um making sure make sure that the sponge is um damp using a damp sponge is really going to allow that product to you know be able to blend but you don't want it to be super wet to where it takes off the makeup but you want to make sure that it has some sort of moisture um i've been using this foundation for about five years i want to say now i've been using it since i've like entered high school i really love this foundation i didn't i used to just use the regular one until they came out with different ones i played around with a few of them however the um matte poreless is my favorite so be sure to blend 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 and the foundation might look a little bit orange however it does oxidize so it will get darker and be my skin tone after I am done blending it out. So now we are going to do begin the highlight and concert process. I'm going to be taking LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. And the whole reason that you highlight is to bring attention to your face. And um, yeah, so that's these the places that I put it is the bridge of my nose, the top of my lip, my chin, a little bit on my forehead, and underneath the eye. When I highlight, I don't like to go in with um, really, really, really light colors. I like to just go in with um, colors that are really, really close to my skin sh um, skin shade just to ensure that it's a very natural looking shade. Also, I don't like to um, take it all the way to where my hairline meets. I just like to keep it pretty much underneath the eye. Now I'm going in with another damp Real Technique sponge and I'm going to begin to blend out everything that I'm doing. And yeah. Also, when highlighting, you want to make sure that the um, the line that you put on your nose is as small as possible. I typically don't contour my nose. I might bronze it up a few just because I don't really care about how large my nose is. But I do like to um, make sure that the line is really, really small on my nose. So, okay, when you blend out the concealer underneath your eyes, make sure that you are looking up. Because sometimes I don't really have those folds underneath my eyes. However, some people do. And you want to make sure that you are, you are able to blend that all out because you don't want that creasing to start underneath your eyes. Also, avoid um, keeping the concealer too close to your um 
underneath your eye just kind of bring it down so that it's close enough but not too too close now I'm going back in with that flat top kabuki brush and I'm going to blend out any harsh lines from the concealer it's a little bit of my foundation left on it so yeah that's ideal just to make sure that everything looks seamless now I'm going in with this new product that I have been using I have been testing it out y'all I have done recorded this video so many times just to get it perfect but this product is the real deal it's the black opal black um deluxe finishing powder in the shade neutral to light and now I'm not gonna bake anymore however I'm going to instead I'm just going to push the product into my skin and I hope that makes sense I'm not gonna just let the product sit on top of my face I'm gonna dip my damp sponge into it knock off the excess powder and begin to really push the powder into my skin that's gonna allow the product not to move as well as avoid that casty ghosty looking um you know finish that sometimes baking can have on your face so I know you guys can tell the difference from this and if you see people bake or even the older video where I was doing my highlight and contour process but I did bake so now I'm just gonna um I'm not really technically baking I'm just gonna let the product sit on my face just so it can you know sit on there and kind of bake I guess I'm cooking I'm gonna begin my contour product I love ruby kisses so I'm just gonna take the ruby kisses 3d face um creator it's just some concealers this was about four dollars and 99 cents and I think this is this this is in um level 16 so I'm just going to carve out everything and contouring is going to give you that chiseled look instead of um it's really just going to make sure that your face looks more structured as well as makes that your face looks more um chiseled or smaller so now I'm just taking a stippling brush and I spritzed a little bit of my fix plus on it and I'm going to begin to blend upwards out blend, blend that concealer upwards also I'm going to go back in with my um a real technique sponge and blend everything else out um you just want to ensure that everything is blended you don't want everything to you don't want harsh lines on your face and you really just don't want everything to look like it's layered up on your face now I'm going in with my ruby kisses mineral powder this is in the shade um, mahogany I believe and I'm going to start on the outer half and then bring it you know down to um closer to my cheek and that's just going to allow most of the product to be um closer to my ear and then i'm going to bring it down and it's just whenever you um use a concealer or whenever you use a cream product you want to make sure that you set it with the powder and to also um this part is definitely optional you don't have to do it but to set that to make that contour pop a little bit more i'm going back in with that powder however i'm not going to let that sit on my face for long now i'm taking this um foundation brush or this just this real techniques powder brush and I'm taking a little bit of my um L'Oreal true match foundation this is like my pressed powder foundation and I'm going to blend everything else out and that's going to you just gonna you see how I'm like really holding that brush very firmly and sweeping the whole product out it's just to make sure that I'm not losing the product but I'm definitely taking away from that full coverage or that you know super powdery look and I didn't go back in with my brush and with more product but now I'm going in with Mac Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep to just bring a little bit more color back into my face like I said this product is not drugstore however I didn't find a dupe for it and I really just love that finish that the Mac Mineralize Skin Finish gives my face so just be sure to just blend over your whole face and set everything now I'm going in with this CoverGirl Queen Collection um, bronzer. This has like really red undertones so it brings warmth back into my face. So I'm going to place that wherever I put my contour just to bronze up my face. Give me a little bit more warmth and I just really like how it looks. My best, best friend put me onto this and I really like how her face looks after she contours it. Because sometimes the contour can be a little dark and not really like have color in it per se. So I like the color that this gives me and I like to put it just a little bit. Um, on my nose with this contour brush that's inside of my Vanity Planet um, set. Now for blush, I'm just taking this Milani Big Bronzer and I will list everything in the description box below. And I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks. If you are lighter than me, please don't use as much blush. Just I'm just putting on matte blush because I'm darker and I just got to pack it on to um, really make sure that that color sticks out. <clears throat> so I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and begin to blend everything else. And it really helps when you smile um, to, you know, see where you need to apply your brush. And if you want to blend everything else out, just take your brush and wipe it on the back of your hand to get off that excess powder and blend, blend, blend. So now you can see that kind of my face might have like a cakey type cast. And I don't like that. So to eliminate that, I'm just going to take some of my Fix Plus spray. And if you guys want me to do a um, DIY like home version of the Fix Plus, let me know. But while that Fix Plus is drying or before it dries, you want to apply your highlighter. So I'm just going to be taking the Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter and applying that um to the high points of my face so that's really like you know you, you guys can see where I'm putting it like I love to put it on my lip uh, down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose however that highlight was not enough for me I have to pop I love highlighter and how it looks on my beautiful skin and you guys can see the difference between the wet and wild fergie and the max gold deposit so I'm just going to apply that back where I put the um wet and wild 
Then I'm gonna take the brush, this um, this little foundation foundation brush, and blend everything out because I don't want it to look harsh. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, and setting spray is just going to allow my makeup to stick on, stick and stay on all day, and that is pretty much that. So before you um do finish, you know your face, you can go back in and do your under eye makeup, and that's exactly what I did. And this is the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that I was as descriptive as possible. However, if I was not, please be sure to refer to my other highlight and contour tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one